Hi, the first 1.17 snapshot came out and it added amethyst geodes into the game and a few other things. Uh, the geodes are made up of these, of several new blocks and as a Minecraft player, I'm very excited about them. And, but I'm also, in real life, I'm a geologist and it's great to see these blocks from real life, uh, these minerals, materials from real life being added into the game. So these amethyst geodes that were just added form in these pockets like this, those little bubbles. They're comprised of this amethyst block, which makes up most of the interior portion. Uh, budding amethyst, which is the block that these crystals grow off of, and then the actual crystals themselves. And they make a wonderful noise. I can't wait to use these in builds. And But on the outside, we have calcite, and we have uh, tuff. And these are real life materials, but they're not f formed like they're not in association with a uh, geode like this. These these are these materials would not be found associated together. So I kind of wanted to talk about the differences in from real life to what this how it is in, in Minecraft. Amethyst geodes are very commonly found in Brazil. Uh, they're found inside old basalt flow so you'd have lava that uh, flowed out and you have gas bubbles that are trapped as the the lava cools and, and turns solid and then inside those cavities is what becomes the geode and so let's simulate that we will get rid of everything except for our, our outer layer and so this would be basalt in real life if we we're talking about this and we already have basalt in the game but the basalt that's in the game is a very specific type of basalt if you look at the top here it has like these little columns and in real life this is columnal basalt it forms in a very certain way uh, it involves like the cooling process of how it fractures like this so they couldn't use basalt here because we already have basalt unless they change the name of this to some other block. But um, tuff is another volcanic product. It's ashfall. So when a volcano erupts and it produces, and it can produce a lot of ash depending on the type of volcano, that will fall out. It can be very hot. It can be hot enough that it still flows like as it collects in the ground. But it normally just collects on the the top layer of ground, and um, it this this tuff here has an ashy look to it. But in real life, um, normally tuff would be pinkish, or you can you can have white uh, tuff, so it's not too far off. But you would find it near the surface. You wouldn't find it deep underground, and you wouldn't find like just like little circle of it like that. You would find it uh, in a different way. Almost all large crystals and specifically geodes grow in water. So the interior of a geode is going to be full of water. Usually when we see them or cut them open, uh, either the water's not there or just when you cut them, obviously the water is falls out. I've cut several geodes myself that have had still had water inside them but the the crystals grow from the outside edge and they grow inwards and the brazilian uh, geodes if you look up picture of brazilian uh, amethyst geodes they have like a white uh, a white mineral on the outer edge and in real life it's quartz it's the same it, it's just uh Silicon dioxide. It's just a plain quartz crystal, except it just, it just it's colorless. Uh, and and in Minecraft they use calcite, which you can have calcite geodes, but the conditions for calcite and for amethyst to grow are are quite different, and it's very rare that you'd have both of these in the same sort of environment. Uh, it's not uh, not impossible, but it's very uncommon just because 
things happen in nature in certain ways. Um, but we have, so we have the interior made up of calcite, which by itself in the game, um, it looks like marble, uh, which calcite is a, is a mineral and calcite is the main mineral that makes up marble and limestone. Um, we don't have, and this looks like, looks a lot like marble, but we already have a block that we kind of treat as marble. You, we have quartz, and quartz are quartz blocks, and quartz pillars, and chiseled quartz, which we use. We make these columns and everything with, and in real life, this is simulating like marble columns, things you'd see in, in, uh, in like Greece and Roman times and things like that. Uh, so it's it's a bit weird. You know, it's just kind of working with the things that they have. But marble is uh, a product of limestone, which we don't have limestone in the game, but it it's normally gray or kind of sandy colored, and it looks a lot like stone. It's it's a layered sedimentary rock, and then with pressure and temperature that it's buried or like inside and part of a when a mountain is being like two plates are being scrushed together uh scrushed that's a word the pressure and temperature that uh causes all the minerals in there to kind of rearrange and get really tight and packed together and you get this uh that's how you get marble formed um so i don't know if calcite is supposed to be marble but um, it, it looks really great. I, li I love it as a block. It's got a cool sound, too. I don't know if that's unique to that. But we're just going to go with it. In the Brazilian marble, in the Brazilian amethyst geode, it has like this outer ring, and that's kind of what this calcite layer is, uh, is representing. And then for our, our last part, we have amethyst. It forms the innermost part of the geode, and it's the mineral quartz. It's the same as as quartz. It's uh, the color change comes from a very incredibly small amount of iron. Um, not even this part of the mineral. It's like squeezed like in between the the molecules of of quartz, the silicon dioxide. We're talking about, I think I have this written down, 0 0.01 to 0.001% of a amethyst will be iron, and it gets all of its color from it. Uh, you can get a, a lot of gemstones that have uh, really pretty colors, have what we call them trace elements, just very small amounts of elements uh, that's adding uh, to their color. And now they, there are differences in here. We have the um, block of amethyst, and we have the budding amethyst. And I th this is just a game balance thing, uh, for the most part. Uh, I, I, I like this mechanic, so you can't just harvest you know, a block and take it back to your base and make a farm for these crystals. You have to go out, find them, and use them. So in, in the... Like I said earlier, this the this is the budding crystal. If you're not in creative, um, this is where the the uh, amethyst cluster kind of grows out from. And in in real life, like I mentioned earlier, that things would grow from the outside in. That's because crystals prefer to grow on themselves. It's a lot easier for them to grow on a surface that is that is already produced than just start on something else. And if they, if they don't, uh, when a crystal does grow on something else, we call that point. You can kind of see at the base, all these crystals are kind of growing out of a center point. And so that point that where the crystal started growing, we call a uh, nucleation point. And that's kind of what these budding amethysts are, are are representing is this you could consider this uh, nucleation points inside the geo where geode where more crystals are going to uh, 
anchor out of. But realistically, you know, it's just a game balance thing because you'd have all these other crystals here that, that new amethyst crystals could keep growing from. But, um, yeah, that's that's kind of it about the about the the uh, the amethyst. Also, while I was down here, um, copper ore was was recently added, and or in the same snapshot, and I really like it. I didn't from farther away. I didn't really notice the green in it, um, and I didn't really care for it that much. But up close, I really like the, having the green in there, and the so this is the first one. I haven't touched this one yet. Um, they're supposed to grow in veins now instead of these weird blobs, which uh, is is much closer to how copper would actually be found in real life. Um, not all ores are the same. Uh, coal ore really doesn't exist in real life. And there are... So it's interesting that they're actually changing this. So it's actually... Is there more of it? I don't know how much you can actually find in a cluster. But, yeah, it's like this strip where normally you would find, like, uh, diamonds. You would find one, two, three, you know, maybe an eight block or something like that. But you don't find it in, like, these lengths. Um, but ores are a whole other topic that would be a whole different video talking about, like, everything. So I just wanted to be a little bit clear about something that I love that this stuff was added to the game. I think it's great, and I can't wait to use this stuff in, in my builds. Um, I am just, I'm not trying to be negative at all about kind of pointing these things out. Uh, there's a lot of cool real-life processes in Minecraft, and it's not always clear what is a good representation of real life and what's more fictional. And I just wanted to make a video that was just for education because uh, Minecraft and geology are like just two of the greatest things. And I love it both. Uh, if you like this, let me know. I, there's a whole bunch of things that could be talked about about uh, geology in Minecraft and having better understandings of how these things are in real life and the importance of them in real life. Um, but uh, until next time.